as you start to shed pounds and, um, as we're saying, that issues come out, they get more intense. So yeah. whatever caused This isn't you, for people who just have like 10 pounds to lose. It's for people who have a lot. It, it, yes, it yeah. is. If you have uh, 10 pounds to lose, you don't have a lot of issues. Yeah, it, it's Sometimes true. you hear people say like, the, it's like padding, like the weight is padding. It is. Keep the emotions. And it's actually an armor is a better way to okay. say it. And, and what you, we're asking you to do is peel away that armor and you're going to get vulnerable. And whatever caused you the momentum to put on the weight and, and gain that armor gets more intense. Every 10 pounds, you're going to feel it. And you're going to feel pain, discomfort of what caused you in the first place to hide within that armor. Yeah. And also, you feel in different ways. Remember when I started getting headaches? I never got headaches for years. I never had a headache. I never anything. Yeah. And then I lost weight. I started. Well, there's a because critical. Because it had to come out in some other way. There's a critical moment, and the best way to say it is uh, late at night is when most people are most prone to emotional eating. But that's also the greatest opportunity, is when you're restless and you want to eat something, but you know you've had your three meals and you've had a snack and you've had enough food, uh, that signals this great opportunity where you're closest to resolving something uh, in your life or bringing something meaningful to it. And you have two options. One, turn it down if you need to write about it and and get closer to that moment, or you eat, which will be the lost opportunity. So don't, uh, and, and most people will cave sometimes, but they will also, most people, at least one time out of the week, hold their ground and, and honor their commitment. And then you start to do it more and more and more and more. You know, the biggest thing we've said on this show many times, the greatest thing for me is having a cutoff time for eating so that after 7.30 or whatever the time you designate, so that gives yourself two to three hours before you go to bed without eating. And that's just a rule. And then you find other things to replace what you would be doing while you're grazing, you know, standing in front of the cupboards, looking to see if something appeared since the last time you looked. <laughs> it's the same thing in there. Most people think that cutting off your eating is about some physical law of cutting calories, which it is. But the most important <clears throat> thing is it makes you vulnerable. It requires you to get past those moments when the feelings are most strong so that it gives you that's the opportunity to make changes. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.